Putting Windows 10 on your Mac. Let's get started. Hey guys, this is Zach with PC Simplest, and today we are putting Windows 10 on our Mac. And this is a very exciting adventure for us. If you've seen our last video, it was about installing VirtualBox and getting that started. But we're just going to go ahead and do a little bit more with that. We're going to start from the beginning, basically. We have VirtualBox installed, and we're going to set up a new machine. And then we'll start installing Windows 10. So here we go. So first thing we're going to do is going to click on New. And then for our name, we're going to do Windows 10. And it already has our version there. So type Microsoft Windows version Windows 10. I'm going to hit Continue. And now we want to select the amount of RAM. And as we've talked about before, I have 16 gigs of RAM. And I feel comfortable with this having about 4 gigs. If you have only 8 gigs of RAM, maybe about 2, 3 gigs would be okay for you. If you have 4 gigs, uh, 2 gigs, I guess, you should be all right. Um, anyway, we're going to create a virtual hard disk next. And we're going to do the VDI. And here, this part is kind of questionable. I like to do the fixed size. Uh, Chris over at PC Addicts, he likes to do the dynamic uh, allocated size. Uh, but we're just going to go with the fixed size for right now. And for space, we are good with, uh, we're good with like 30 gigs. Um, the Windows 10 um, install is... A lot smaller than like Windows 7. Windows 7 usually takes up around 30 gigs for the install with some updates and stuff like that. So 30 gigs for Windows 10 is fine. And we're going to hit create. And there we go. Now, we need our thumb drive. Did you have your, your Windows 10 thumb drive ready? So all you need is the ISO. So make sure you download the ISO. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug this into the side of my laptop here. And we are going to go ahead and start our machine. So when you start your Windows 10 machine, it's going to ask you where you can find your ISO. So basically what we're going to do is click on this little folder with an up arrow, and it's going to have a search. And I know that right here is my flash drive that I just plugged in. Maybe you have it downloaded on your Mac already. So you just need to locate where that ISO is, and you need to go into it, select that ISO, and hit open. And then we can hit start. From here, VirtualBox is going to boot this ISO. And you can see already that it's already it's already going for us. It's already starting the boot process where it's booting to Windows 10. So here we go. We're at our Windows screen. And what we're going to do right now is just click on next because everything's okay. If you need a different language, obviously, select that different language. Hit next. We're going to do install now. And setup is starting. That's always a great thing. So right now it's reading this ISO off of our thumb drive. And here we go. We uh, So the product key. Maybe you have a product key. You can enter it here now if you do have a product key. For now, you can hit skip. And for this, uh, we will just do Windows 10 Pro and hit next. And we accept the license terms and conditions. And for this part, we're going to do a custom Windows install here. So now we can select our hard drive. And all we're going to do is click on Next. From here, it's going to start installing Windows for us and doing all of that fun stuff. So it's going to take maybe 15, 20 minutes or so because it's off of a flash drive, maybe longer. But we'll come back to you in a couple of minutes and we'll uh, finish this video off. So stay tuned. All right, so we're back, and we need to enter a product key. And again, if you don't have a product key, we can just hit do this later. If you have a product key, you can enter it now. So we'll just go ahead with the express settings here. And now we're going to do a quick little restart. So it's a pretty quick process. All in all, I would say this took roughly about 10 minutes just to install the uh, Windows 10 on this machine. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll let this reboot and we'll see where it takes us from here. All right, and for this, it's asking who owns this PC and I say, I own it. An organization does not own this. I own this PC. It's a virtual PC. Anybody can own it. 
And for here, um, basically it's asking if you want to sign in with a Microsoft account or not. And I hate signing in with a Microsoft account. If you've seen any other any of my other videos, you know that I hate that Microsoft did this with signing in to their services for everything. So we're going to go ahead and skip the step. And who's going to use this PC? I am. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're going to call this just Win 10 because this is just a virtual machine and, and not much is going to happen on it. So you can call it whatever you want. It's going to be whatever... Uh, whatever username you want for it. So go ahead and select it, hit next, and just a moment. It's always just a moment. So Win 10, welcome. Here we go. And we're obviously going to have to adjust the resolution here a little bit because I don't like that there's some scroll bars here, but we'll, we'll deal with it for right now. Anyway, they're setting things up for us right now. All right, and here we go. We finally got things going. We booted into the Windows 10 virtual machine here, and we're ready to go. So first thing, networks. Do you want all your PC discoverable? Not now, but it's a virtual machine. We don't care about that. Here's the important thing. We have Windows 10 installed on this machine. So now we can play around with Windows 10 from your Mac. So if you've never used Windows 10, and you're only a Mac user, and you decide you really want to try it out, now it's your chance to use Windows 10 and use it for everything that it is. You have, you know, this this cool start menu that Windows 10 offers now and the new Edge browsing thing here. And we can do whatever we want on here because it is now your new virtual machine. So this is how to install Windows 10 on your MacBook. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, Hit me up in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer anything I can for you. I hope you found this video useful and have enjoyed it and I appreciate you watching my videos. As always, please like and subscribe to me because I greatly appreciate that. Have an amazing day and thank you very much for watching Mac Mondays. Take care.